Welcome back. I'm Brent Bates, and this is my Over the Fence Post segment here on the Wild West Crypto Show. You know, last week, I was kind of educating everybody about the cause of inflation, that it's it's monetary policy, pure and simple. We've printed way too much money. 80% of all money is less than two years old. <laughs> the, the ink on it's barely dry. And so basically, inflation is too many dollars chasing too few products. And if you've gone to the grocery store, uh, you know, uh, you can't find cat food, can't find dog food. Sometimes you can't find people food. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's interesting to say the least, especially because we're kind of out on the tail end uh, in, a, in a town of about 25,000 people. So, you know, we're not in the city where, uh, where maybe supplies are better, although I hear they're having problems there as well. But anyway, it's too many dollars chasing too few products. And so, so now maybe I've gotten you to understand the problem. And my dad taught me when I was a young man, he was a business executive of some note. And he said, son, don't ever bring me a problem that you don't bring me the solution. And, you know, I've, I've taught that to my daughters, too. You know, don't don't come to me with a problem and tell me what's wrong. That's great. Anybody, anybody can identify a problem. It takes somebody with some vision to identify the problem and then put forth a solution. And it's the critical thinking that is required to put forth the solution. You know, a lot of people can sit around and basically bitch and moan and they got problems with this and problems with that and problem, problem everything's a problem. Okay, that's great. You know, the world's full of problems, but what we need are solutions. So now you're saying, okay, well, Bates, you have created a problem. I now understand inflation's coming. I'm scared to death. What's going to happen? What can I do? What should I be doing? And so on and so forth. And unfortunately for a lot of our younger people, they've never lived through this type of situation. You know, my parents that were, uh, you know, my dad was born in 29, uh, just missed you know, getting to go to World War II and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, the the great generation and those that followed behind, you know, they lived through parts of the Depression. They lived through the World War where they rationed everything from silk stockings to gas to tires and so on and so forth. And so they've, they've lived through a lot of this and they would know what to do. Well, the first thing you do is, is stop spending money you don't need to spend. I'll repeat, now that we're in a period of inflation, you need to stop spending money you don't need to spend because inflation is going to eat that money up anyway. You know, uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, hamburger joint here in town, Whataburger. I went to Whataburger the other day. I uh, got me a double with cheese. I was hungry. Got me a double with cheese and a big drink and an apple pie. And, you know, I got out of there for under twenty dollars. But, you know, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's like 16, 17 bucks, 17 and change, something like that. All right. Uh, it was enough that I noticed it. So the first thing you do is, is stop spending money you don't have to spend. The second thing you do is, is be real careful what debt you take on, okay? Now, some people will say, oh, interest rates are so low, let's load up on debt. We need to borrow that money right now. We can borrow it cheap, okay? Uh, and the problem is, is that if you get yourself loaded up with debt, and let's say that you just kind of overshoot your runway and you don't land like you're thinking and now you've got to service all this debt over here and now the question becomes do i service my debt or do i eat tonight well i'm a big old boy i'm gonna eat okay i'll, I'll slow down on that debt well i've already gonna slow down on that debt because i'm not taking on any new debt and if you do you need to make sure that it's very minor OK, don't be taken on debt for convenience. Don't be taken on debt for trinkets and trash and toys and and something to impress your neighbor down the street. OK, then start looking at what things. So, so you know, you stop spending. You don't take on extra debt. All right. And so now you need to start looking at your at your uh, spending habits. You know, what can you kind of save at? All right. There's a lot of people that are using this as an opportunity to build that personal garden they've never built. You know, they've talked about it. They said, you know, we want to have fresh vegetables. You know, you know, we read these things where you're in your backyard, you can raise enough for the entire family and so on and so forth. And guess what? A lot of people are starting to do that. A lot of people, especially down in this part of the world, you know, all of a sudden, you know, oh, I'll have a few chickens. I don't have to buy eggs. And I'll do a little bit of this and so on and so forth. So things that you can do to start saving up your money is worthwhile, and here's why. Your gas is gonna keep going up. Your electrical costs are gonna keep going up. 
your taxes are really going to keep going up because right now you've got those home prices that are appreciating. And in this part of the world, most of them are appreciating because it's people from California with more money than cents. And they buy the houses for what they're listing for and sometimes even over that. Well, what does that do? That drags everybody else's house up and they're not going to be able to sell at that price, but your taxes are going to be at that price. And for some reason, those appraisals always come down much slower than they go up. I mean, they go up like this and then they slowly roll over and start to go back down. So literally all of these systematic fixed costs that is going to take running your household are going to be going up. And like I told you a couple of weeks ago, my prediction is there will be one month that we have term over term inflation, one year inflation that's 20%. And the reason that I say that is 80% of all money is only two years old. Well, I'll tell you what, those are some of the key things that you can be doing to start to insulate yourself from the ravages of inflation because baby, it's here. And we'll be back next week to talk about some more of these things over the fence post here on the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Brent Bates.